but as I connect with the energies around us, I'm drawn to someone in the audience watching this now who's been facing some challenges recently. Ever seen a psychic medium stumble over their own prediction? Does your name begin with an A? No. A B? No. C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P? P! Peter! My name's Peter! Or make a shocking revelation that turns out to be, well, not so shocking? Your wife has departed? Is that her wedding ring? Uh, no, it's my mother's. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? Is there more to these psychic mediums than meets the eye? Or maybe less? They descend like vultures. Never in the history of the world has a psychic solved a missing child case. Anyway, today I thought it would be fun to dive deep into the mystical world of psychic mediums and pull back the curtain on what's really going on. Look, what I do doesn't hurt anybody. I give people closure and help them cope with life. Are these psychic powers genuine? Or is it all just a clever trick? No, you give them false hope and a belief in something that isn't real. But I'm a psychic. No, dude, you're a douche. Let's explore the evidence. <laughs> I'm not a douche. What if I really believe dead people talk to me? Then you're a stupid douche. Please subscribe. Right, before we get going, how does a free case of beer sound for St. Patrick's Day? Well, I've got something absolutely beautiful for you today. My pals over at Beer 52 are on a mission to quench your thirst with an offer that's just too good to sip. Sorry, I meant skip. They're giving away a free case of eight exclusive craft beers. Yeah, you heard that right absolutely free. All you've got to do is head over to beer52.com forward slash creaky and cover the cost of postage, which is just $5.95. That's less than the price of a round in a London pub for a whole case of beer. Now, let me tell you why Beer 52 is the talk of the town. They're not just any beer club, they're the biggest beer club in the world. Imagine globetrotting from the comfort of your couch with a beer in your hand. Now this month they're serving up the Beers of the World case featuring eight unique beers from eight different countries. We're talking exotic locals like South Korea, South Africa and Sweden. It's like the Beer Olympics and you're the judge. From South Korea we've got the Booth's top rated hop driven pale ale. It's like a fruit basket of citrus and stone fruit aroma with a body so layered you'll want to dive in for more. And from Sweden, Omnipolo's Noah Export Stout is here to shake things up. Picture this, pecan, chocolate and vanilla in a stout so smooth it's like a dessert in a glass. But with a cheeky bitter finish that'll have you reaching for another. Not a fan of dark beers? Fear not. You can opt for the light only case and keep things bright and breezy. Plus, each case comes with the award winning Ferment magazine. And some scrumptious snacks to keep your taste buds entertained. And if for some reason you're not completely happy, you can pause or cancel any time, no strings attached. So what are you waiting for? Hop to it and claim your eight free beers now at beer52.com forward slash creaky. That's beer52.com. Com. That's the word beer, then the numbers 52.com. So don't miss out on this opportunity to explore a world of craft beer. So, have you ever wondered how psychic mediums seem to know so much about you or how they can communicate with the other side? Well, it's not as mystical as it might appear. And to show you just how unmystical it is, I'm going to perform a psychic reading later on in this video that guarantees to connect with one of you watching this now. They use a few simple techniques that literally anyone can learn. Things like cold reading. Now, this is where the psychic shoots in the dark, making a high probability guess based on your age, your appearance, and the way you react. Was there an issue with the legs where your husband was res bed restriction, is that correct? They'll throw out vague statements and watch you closely and refine their insights based on how you respond. And then this hot reading. Now this is a sneakier technique which involves the psychic doing some homework beforehand. And thanks to social media and the internet, a few clicks can reveal a hell of a lot about a person's life interests and even loved ones who've passed away and armed with this information the psychic can make startlingly accurate predictions that feel personal and specific but it doesn't always go as well as they'd like so you'll always know yes. when you talk to a family member when you start a case you'll know if this person is dead yes. or alive oh it's lisa guerrera the inside edition woman who pummeled kenneth copeland this should be good every I, time yes. does this girl look familiar to yes, you yes she does I worked this case. This is a girl who you said was beaten and killed. Okay. This little girl is me. Can't wait to see how she wriggles out of that one. And you told somebody that she's dead. Wait a minute. 
You didn't disappear? I'm right here. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? Not for you, it's not. She has literally just exposed you as a fraud on live TV. And these people are nothing but grief vultures. They always go after people when they're at their lowest. Like, for example, during the disappearance of a child. All told, 10 different psychics told our producer that Lisa had been murdered. And the FBI says to Inside Edition that they are not aware of any criminal investigation that has been solved as a direct result of information provided by a psychic. Hang on a second. Are you trying to tell us that 10 psychics got it wrong? Well, I never. It's almost as if it's all just fake, isn't it? I'm starting with a, a gentleman. Oh, and talking about fake, we've got Derek Acora. First off, and um, with this man, play who? Reg. <laughs> now, Derek Acora's very funny. Do you see the way he's a, a who? Reg? Who the hell are you talking to? You're on your own. And he's also mentioned Frank. Thank you. So the thank you is done deliberately and it's to delay things from moving too quickly because obviously the medium, in this case Derek Acora, wants to give somebody from the audience a chance to say, oh, Frank, Frank is my grandfather. <laughs> But let's not lie to ourselves here. They've shown us the audience, more or less. And based on the age range we saw in the footage of the audience, it's not that much of a stretch to imagine that one of them had a relative who was in the Royal Air Force. I can't watch that uniform. <laughs> in his younger years, I can see the uniform. In his younger years, please, I don't know what he was in the Air Force. I don't feel he was a pilot because of his attire. And this is more filler. So probably when he mentioned Reg and Frank, he was hoping to get a hit straight away, but he hasn't. It's completely missed the mark. So now he's trying to expand it while keeping it specific to the Royal Air Force. So, uh... Let's see how he gets on, shall we? Well, he's keen to show me that, and he's transported back into the older age in which he passed. He may not even be family, he may be just known to you. So, Reg didn't work, Frank didn't work, being a pilot in Royal Air Force didn't work, so now it's just the Royal Air Force, and now it's also not Reg or Frank, it's a relative, and that hasn't worked either, so now it may just be somebody you know. Yeah, this is really making me believe it all the more. What's the next excuse going to be? That the spirit has turned up to the wrong show and he was actually meant to be there last Friday when you were performing in Aberdeen? Um, good afternoon. My, good afternoon. my father, his name was Hugh, and he was in the Air Force. And he didn't fly, he was a civil engineer. <laughs> Close enough. Earlier, I invited three mediums to a one-time Victorian chocolate factory, where they all channeled the name George, an evil fat man who was the factory's first manager. She's given me the name of George. 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 The only trouble is that George is part of a made-up story that I planted on the Chocolate Factory website a week ago. Well, if it's made up, it should be right up their street then, shouldn't it? So let's see how these turkeys get on. <laughs> What's with a strange voice? I seriously doubt that George was an 83-year-old woman with bronchitis. Astonishingly, <laughs> Goldie has actually summoned the ghost of my made-up factory manager. So what's his name? I've got George and I've got Bull. We chose the surname Bull for a reason. I've definitely got to make more videos about these people. <laughs> I don't know who put this lovely picture in here. Oh, you're upstairs. Is this something called the barn? Is his name Bernard or Barnard? No. Oh, great, another UK psychic medium. Anyway, this is Sally Morgan, and in the UK, she's a really famous grifter. Sorry, I meant Charlotte. No, um, she's a well-known psychic medium who was famously exposed for doing a stage psychic show in a packed theatre, giving readings to everyone in the crowd, and in the first half of the show, everyone was loving it. Then in the second half... A mysterious voice is heard coming from the back of the room through a window. And whatever that voice said, Sally then said a few seconds later on stage. Now, basically, she was exposed for wearing a earpiece and she had someone giving her information on the people she spoke to from the audience. And there was some sort of technical issue that led to her being exposed as a fraud. Why would he say that? That's our nan. Oh, your nan? <laughs> Sorry. Well, if she can't even get the sex of the person right, there's no hope, is there? We dropped our psychics in the middle of a massive pine forest. Well, that's one way to get rid of them, I suppose. Please tell me you left them there. Ah, but with that being said, they probably knew it was going to happen, so they had a rescue mission in place already. There's a rescue chopper waiting for them. 
Our psychics have just 15 minutes to find the chopper. They've got a map that shows an outline of the area and then something belonging to the pilot. So a personal effect, you know, keys, wallet, something like that. And then our psychics will use that to sense, you know, the right direction. How did they do? Let's have a look. And that group of psychics was never to be seen again. Almost nine years ago, Amanda Berry's mom went on the Montel Williams show where resident psychic Sylvia Brown spoke of Amanda. I don't think I'll ever see her again. Yeah, in heaven. She's gone, honey. Now, this is the sort of thing that really winds me up about these low lowlifes. Amanda Berry was kidnapped by Ariel Castro in 2003, and out of what I can only guess was pure desperation, her mother went on a TV show to get some help from a psychic. And we all heard what she just said. She's gone, honey. Except she wasn't. She was freed ten years later, no thanks to this lowlife grifter, who for some bizarre reason thought it was a good idea to tell this already distraught mother that her daughter was dead. No, no, please. Help me, I'm Amanda Berry. I've been kidnapped and I've been missing for 10 years and I'm, I'm here, I'm free now. Is it possible for a psychic to read the history of an instrument just by touching? Please welcome Nella Jones. Now, I'm sure most of us know who James Randi is. The $1 million paranormal challenge was an offer by the James Randi Educational Foundation to pay out $1 million US dollars to anyone who could demonstrate a supernatural or paranormal ability under agreed upon scientific testing criteria. And a version of the challenge was first issued in 1964 and it ended in 2015 unclaimed. I know! I was shocked as well! That's just a little thing. That's just uh, getting into a lock of some sort. I felt glass with that one. This one, God knows why. I'm picking up a heavy tyre, so I don't know what that's been used for. Sorry, my darling. Best I can do. You examined six objects, you got no information from three of them, and you got incorrect information from the remaining three. Well, if that was the caliber of people trying to claim the million dollars, it's no wonder it went unclaimed. Somebody murdered? Like, murdered, murdered. No. I feel like somebody passed from a suicide where their actions brought about how they got there. If anybody over there has somebody who crossed over like that, um, that's kind of how they showed it to me. No, I was saying lots of It's connected things. to Michael, if it helps. I had an aunt. Her name Say it again. Moira. There you go. Perfect example of a cold read. He said it was connected to Michael, but that lady in the audience, all she heard was the M, and she had an Aunt Moira who did take her own life. Oh, these people. How do they sleep at night? But some of the time, it's the audience member receiving the reading who's equally to blame. Now, I'm not saying that that woman was wrong for what she said, but she was basically egging him on by making the connection just because of the first letter of the name. And that's exactly what psychic mediums are hoping for when they perform a cold reading. Okay, I, I'm getting someone now whose name is... G a t it's a... It's a... It's a... Get it! Kenny says hi. Yeah, like that. Now, if you remember, at the beginning of this video, I said I was going to perform a psychic reading just for you. And this is that section of the video. As I connect with the energies around us, I'm drawn to someone in the audience watching this now who's been facing some challenges recently. It's been a time of change and uncertainty for you, hasn't it? I sense that these changes are related to personal growth or perhaps a transition in your career or relationships. You've been seeking clarity and direction, looking for a sign to guide you on your path. Now I'm feeling the presence of a strong, protective figure in your life. This could be someone who's passed or someone who's very much alive, but their influence on you is significant. They want you to know that you're not alone and they're watching over you, offering strength and support. Now you've been holding on to something, a question or a decision that's been weighing heavily on your heart. And it's time to let go of the fear and embrace the opportunities that are coming you away. Now the universe is aligning to bring positive changes into your life, but it requires that you take the first step with courage and faith. I'm also sensing a connection to, to the number three. Now this could mean something in three days, three weeks, or the third of the month. Keep an eye out for the signs or messages during this time. 
as they could be pivotal in guiding you towards your next steps. Now remember, you have the strength and wisdom within you to navigate through this. Trust yourself and the pieces will fall into place as they're meant to. Now I realise that a lot of you watching this now think exactly like I do and you just don't believe any of this nonsense at all. But think about what I just said in that reading. Watch it again if you need to. And I promise you that if you think hard enough about it, you'll be able to make a connection to that reading, even though you already realise that it's a load of old crap. Let me know in the comments below. I can't wait to read them. Oh, you're still here then. I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe even learned something new. If you did, then you'll probably enjoy this video as well. Don't forget to hit the like button if you haven't already and subscribe if you're new. And I will see you all again very soon or in a few minutes if you do decide to watch this recommended video. <laughs> Love you, bye.